Syngonium Wendlandii is one of the most attractive of the Syngonium species, the so-called arrowhead plants. It has these really lovely dark green velvety leaves with a nice creamy silver midrib which has a real crystalline quality when you look at it up close. It's a tropical climbing plant. This particular example is getting close to needing some support to climb. They produce aerial roots and are able to climb things like branches, stakes, or moss poles. As an indoor plant, these plants like indirect light, partial shade. They can take quite a degree of sun, although direct sun can damage the leaves. So bright light in a well-lit position will satisfy them. They like to be kept evenly moist. So a well-draining but moisture-retentive compost is ideal. A general purpose compost with some added materials such as orchid bark or coconut chunks is a really good choice for compost. A weak liquid fertilizer given once a week in the growing season, in the spring and the summer, will keep the plant happy. You'll sometimes find that lower leaves yellow, that's uh, natural, as the, the lower leaves naturally die off and they can simply be removed and discarded, nothing to worry about unless your lead growths, your upper leaves, start to yellow, then you've got a problem. Uh, one of the reasons for yellowing leaves could be a particularly dry atmosphere, a lack of humidity, or overwatering. So if your leaves are yellowing, check for overwatering, check for rotten roots, in which case a repot, and replace any of the old compost may be necessary. And this is an interesting broad-leaved form. So we have a much shorter but broader leaf, also velvety, with a familiar creamy silver midrib. And if we compare with the more common elongated shaped leaf, you can see the difference in the two forms. Personally, I don't have a favorite. I like them both equally. Propagation is really easy. We can simply take cuttings such as these and as can be seen here, some aerial roots are already forming. So we can take a cutting such as this one with a little bit of aerial root forming. And then that will give the opportunity to the young growth behind it to mature. So this young growth will mature and give us another growth similar to this one. And then this growth could form the basis of a new plant. The cuttings can be placed into water or into compost for rooting and they do rather well in water and compost. Personally I favour rooting in compost but the choice is yours.